Helen Evans' son Gavin died suddenly, and she's worried about the risk to her daughter Keris, as there had been other sudden deaths in the family. The GP decides to take a family history to work out if Keris is at risk. So Helen, if I could just confirm your details. You're Helen Evans, that's correct? Yes. Okay, and Helen, what's your date of birth again? Um, that's the 6th of May, 1963. 63. Okay, and you've got no health problems that um, you're concerned about at the moment? No, not at all. Okay, and your husband? Uh, yep, he's called James. Um, do you want his date of birth as well? Yes, that would be very helpful. He was born on the 17th of February, 1957. 57. And his surname is Evans as well? Yes, it is. Okay. And does he have any health problems that we should be concerned about at the moment? No, no, he doesn't. And are you and James related to each other by um, blood at all? No, we're not. Okay. And um, you and James have Keris and Gavin, is that correct? Yes, it is. Right. Could you just spell Keris for me? Yeah, please? sure. Um, C-E-R-Y-S. Okay, and her surname is Evans as well? Yes. Okay, and what's Keris's date of birth? She was born on the 25th of August, 1995. And does she have any health problems? Uh, no, no, moment? she's fine. And does she have any children? No. At all? Okay, and Gavin, if you could provide me with his date of birth as well. Yeah, sure. He was born on the 18th of October 1997, but then um, he died on the 3rd of March 2017. Okay, and last time we talked you still didn't have a firm cause of death for, for Gavin, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Have you found any further information since we last spoke? No, no, they, they still haven't been able to tell us anything. I imagine that must be really hard for you mm. um, at the moment. You don't have any other children apart from Keris and Gavin? Uh, I don't, but James does from his previous marriage. Okay, do you know any details about that at all? Um, yep, he was married to Brenda. Um, she's 58 now, I think. And they've got two sons, Paul okay. and Simon. Uh, Paul's their eldest, he's 32 and Simon's 28. Um, they, they did have a daughter as well, Lucy, but she died quite suddenly. Um, that would have been in 2005. Uh, she was only 17. Okay, I'm really sorry to hear that. And did Paul, Lucy and Simon all have the surname Evans? Uh, yes, they do. And you said that there are other people um, in the family who had also um, had sudden deaths as well. Is mm. that on your side of the family or on James's side of the family? Mm. Uh, they were on James's side. Um, th there haven't been any sudden deaths on mine. Okay, so I will now just concentrate on James's um, side of the family. Okay. Does James have any brothers or sisters? No. Okay. Can you provide me some information about James's parents? Um, yes, yes. Um, his mother was called Celia. But she died suddenly, but that was years ago. I mean, she was only in her late twenties. And his father's called Thomas. Okay, and how's Thomas? Uh, great, yeah, he's, he's 85 now and he, he's in great shape as well. He, he still goes hill walking. Oh, that's great to hear. Um, and Thomas and Celia have the surname Evans as yes. well as James? Yes, yep, that's right. And was there anyone else in the family who's died suddenly? Um, yes, yes there was actually. Um, it was the, the daughter of one of James's cousins, that was a girl called Charlotte. She died a couple of years ago during a PE lesson at school. Gosh, so Charlotte is related to James how? Right, well Charlotte's grandma, yeah. Beth, she was James's aunt. Beth was Celia's sister. And did Celia have any other brothers or sisters apart from Beth? No, no, just Beth. But okay. Beth died quite young as well. Um, I, I think she was only about 30. 
And do you have any details about um, what De uh, Beth died from? Um, no, not really. Uh, I, I think it was unexpected. Uh, and I don't think it was an accident, so, so it, it could have been a sudden death. Yeah. And do you have any information about Beth's husband? Yep, um, his name was Gareth Smith. He lived un until well into his 70s. He only died a few years ago, actually. Uh, he had lung cancer. Okay. So does that mean that Beth's surname is also Smith? Yes, that's right. So, um, do you have any details about Beth and Gareth's children? Yes, yes, um, they had three children. Um, Barbara, who was Charlotte's mum, she was the youngest. Uh, she had two older brothers. One of them died young. I, I didn't know him, though. But as far as I know, his death was sudden as well. Okay. Do you know um, how old he was when he died? Um, I think he was in his early 20s. I, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I only heard about him recently, to be honest. OK. Um, and Barbara's other brother, do you yep. have his... any details about him? Yep, yep, that's Malcolm. He's a couple of years older than Barbara. OK, uh, so... sorry, Barbara is born in... Oh, Barbara's born the same year as me, actually, so that's 1963. Yeah. So Malcolm born maybe 1961. Maybe. I think so, yes. And is his surname Smith as well? Yes, it is. And does Malcolm have any children? No, he doesn't. And Barbara, do you have information about her husband? Yes, that's Derek, Derek Baker. Okay. Do you have any information about how old he might be? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm pretty certain he's a few years older than Barbara. So perhaps 1960? It could be, yes. I'm, I'm not absolutely certain. And Barbara's surname then is Baker as well? Yes, it is. Okay, and Barbara and Derek are Charlotte's parents, is that correct? That's it, yes. And does Charlotte have any other siblings? Um, yes, she's, uh, she had a brother called Scott. Um, he's away at university now. I think he's 20. Okay, and does he have any health problems that you're aware of? Not that I know of, no. And Charlotte? You said died um, a few years ago, is that correct? Yes. I mean, do you know how old she was when she died? Yes, she was only 14. That's very sad. Is there any other information that you feel I should know about, about the family? Um, no, I, I don't think so. And have I missed anyone in the family? Um, not that I can think of, no. Right, well, thank you for that. And is it all right with you if I share this information with other healthcare professionals or any other family members? Yes, yes, that's fine. Right, thank you.